I've always wondered this, why don't brands, especially in the budget and mid-range segment, launch two phones like we see in flagship models? We have an iPhone 16 and 16 Plus, the Samsung Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus. You get two models, one smaller, one bigger, and both of them don't have any major differences whatsoever. So people who like a small, compact form factor can go for the smaller one, and the remaining ones can go for the Plus model. We rarely see that in the budget and mid-range segment. But anyway, today we're talking about a compact smartphone, well, at least by 2024 standards, in the mid-range segment. This is the Motorola H50 Neo. It costs about 23,000 rupees. Now, when this phone first arrived, I was not so interested in it because of the Motorola H50 Fusion. Both of them are in the same price range. So I was like, what is different with this smartphone? And I instantly found an answer to that question as soon as I held this smartphone in my hand for the first time. The H50 Neo is a super comfortable smartphone. And let's start over there. See, this smartphone has a 6.1 inch display. We are used to 6.7, 6.9 inches smartphones at this point. So 6.1 definitely feels compact. To give you a reference, here's the H50 Neo side by side my iPhone 15 Pro and the Pixel 9. You can see the size of these smartphones is very similar. And it does feel very good in the hand. Lightweight, comfortable with a vegan leather back panel. Like it's so comfortable and grippy that there is no need to use a case with this smartphone. Although if you want to, there is a case provided inside the box. Which matches the color of the back panel. That is incredible. It's not a generic transparent case and I do appreciate that. But yeah, coming back to the point, if you are a person who does not like big smartphones, you like compact, comfortable smartphones, then this one is going to interest you a lot. Now this is a mid-range smartphone, right? So what are the trade-offs that this smartphone makes? Well, let's find out. As I said, it has a 6.1 inches display. It's an AMOLED LTPO panel with a peak refresh rate of 120Hz. I absolutely love this display. It is bright enough to use outdoors in sunny conditions. Colors are great with excellent viewing angles. The content consumption experience on this display is amazing. And the fact that at this price point, you get LTPO technology is super impressive. LTPO basically means that the refresh rate will be dynamically adjusted and I have not noticed any issues with that whatsoever. There were a couple of times initially when I was setting up the smartphone where the refresh rate dropped suddenly, but no major issue as such. And this display also has an in-display fingerprint sensor. It is fast, accurate and works really well. So Motorola has not cut corners in terms of the display. This smartphone has a Diamond City 7300 processor along with UFS 2.2 storage and LPDDR4X RAM. Now this is where corners have been cut. This is not a performance centric smartphone. Don't get me wrong, it will get the job done easily for normal day to day applications. Things like Instagram, WhatsApp, UPI payments, maybe some light photo editing here and there. All these things will be handled very smoothly by this smartphone. But if you are a heavy user, maybe like playing BGMI for a couple of hours, then this smartphone is not recommended. Why? Because in this price range, you do get smartphones which are focused just on raw performance, you should go for those smartphones if you are a heavy user. As far as the software goes, it comes with Hello UI based on Android 14 out of the box. Now Motorola is promising 5 years of software updates with this smartphone. Their track record with software updates has not been so great. So it will be interesting to see how they push out updates for this smartphone. I am really hoping that they do a good job with software updates. But the software experience on the other hand is absolutely incredible. It is almost stock Android without any major bloatware and no ads whatsoever. It's a clean, fast and minimal experience. Exactly how I like it. You do get some great customization features wherein you can change the icon shape, colors, themes, etc. Moto has also given AI features with this smartphone. If you want to use them, they will be available. And how can we forget Moto gestures? See, Motorola has been doing a great job with their software and you do get exactly that with this smartphone. <laughs> Now, camera is one place where most of the brands out there make trade-offs when they are making a mid-range or a budget smartphone. But I am glad to say that Motorola did not do that. This smartphone has three cameras and all three cameras are useful. There's a main camera, then an ultra wide angle camera and finally a 3x telephoto camera. Yes, that third camera is not a useless 2 megapixel macro. In fact, it is a 3x telephoto camera. I am really happy about this decision. And not only that, you can click some really good photos with the Motorola H15 Neo. The dynamic range of the photos is impressive. Shadows and highlights are exposed in a balanced way. The photos have a good amount of detail in them and the colors are good too. A bit on the saturated side, I would call these photos social media ready. Basically, you can point, shoot and upload. Also, portrait mode is excellent for the price of this smartphone. The edge detection, background blur, everything looks super cool. See, what I'm trying to say is that the photography experience with this smartphone is great. You get three useful perspectives and you can get creative with them. As far as video recording goes, you can shoot 4K videos up to 30 FPS and the video 
video quality looks good for the price of this smartphone. Detailed videos with good colors. Basically, you can use this smartphone to create social media content. All right, this is a very quick front camera video test. Now, the good part is that this phone can shoot up to 4K at 30 FPS from the front camera as well. That is incredible. Also, let me know about the audio quality, that is the microphone quality of this smartphone in the comment section down below. What about the selfie camera? I really like the selfies from this smartphone. Detailed selfies with good skin tones and good dynamic range. See, the bottom line is that the cameras are not a trade-off. I think that this smartphone deserves a dedicated shot on video. If you want to see that, let me know about that in the comment section down below and I will make it happen. <laughs> Now this is a small smartphone which does come with a smaller battery. It has a 4300 mAh battery and it easily lasted me throughout the day without any issues. Now obviously do not expect this smartphone to last 2 days or something like that but it will easily last you throughout the day with like 15-20% to 20 left towards the end of the day. Now if the size of the phone were bigger you would have gotten a bigger battery hence better battery life. So for the size of this smartphone the battery life is good. But charging is excellent. You get 68W fast charging and the charger is provided inside the box itself. So you don't need to buy an extra charger. The fast charger is inside the box and it works really well. Durability is one point that is very important and I'm glad that Motorola has given an IP68 rating with this smartphone. So no need to worry about dust and water. You can easily use it in the rain or something like that. I mean for the price of this smartphone, giving an IP68 rating is highly appreciated. Call quality has not been an issue with this smartphone. The speakers are great. They are stereo speakers with good enough volume and they don't distort. The sound output is clear. The buttons are clicky and tactile. See all things considered for the price of rupees 23,000, this is a very good smartphone and the cherry on the cake for a lot of people is that it is super comfortable to use so if you are looking for a good compact comfortable all-rounder smartphone and you don't want to break the bank then this one should surely interest you i will make sure to drop a link to it in the description box below so anyway that's been it this was my video about the motorola h50 neo do let me know what do you feel of this video in the comment section down below if you like this content go ahead and hit that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel because you to mean the world to me my name is Hach Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.